That's your boyfriend? Yeah. That's some. <laughs> You're very lucky. She's very gentle. <laughs> How long you together? Uh, Don't talk! Yeah. <laughs> you want to marry him? Yes. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Bestie. As some of you know, I just ended my four-year relationship and two of those years were actually spent living in this apartment together. So now I have to say goodbye to not only my partner but to my home. So this will be my last video here in this apartment so I thought it would be fitting to arrange our last bouquet of flowers here in this place because that's what I used to do in my older vlogs just as a cute little goodbye. So in this moving vlog, I will show you my entire moving process, trying to make my new apartment feel like home, while also opening up about my breakup, my relationship, and hopefully sharing some advice that would help some of you out there. But I promise Bestie, it's not all that sad. My new apartment is actually really cute. I know you're gonna be obsessed. Hi Bestie, welcome to my new place. I'm moving in into a studio apartment because it's easier to manage and keep clean and also I really like how like compact it is. My first place when I first moved to Australia was also a studio and I really loved living there so I want to replicate that. I actually officially move in tomorrow but I'm coming in a day early just to do some preparation but I also want to show you or give you an empty studio apartment tour because I posted on my story that I was moving and so many of you requested that so let me show you the apartment Okay, you walk in and this is the first thing that you see you see my bed and the kitchen and to the right you're going to find the shoe cabinet and there's a full-length mirror here as well Hi bestie! <laughs> and then beside it is the closet. Um, this is so small. I think this can only fit my dresses and I don't even think it can fit my coats. That's why I'm thinking of putting like an IKEA chest drawer over there. And then I have a microwave which is so rare for um, an apartment to have. Usually you have to get your own. I've not had a microwave since I came to Australia so this is so nice but I wish there was an oven instead yeah and then I have my fridge so there's the freezer there's nothing in there except like an empty ice tray and this is the fridge this is the kitchen I love how small it is so there's an induction stove I probably need to get um, induction what's that called? pots <laughs> Here is my um, dining table for my lonely, no not lonely, romantic solo dinner dates. Moving on to the left, you'll see my bed. It's a double bed, so it's not quite queen sized, but it's not as small as a single bed. And there's this atrocious, appalling, fluorescent green backing. I'm not sure what it's called, but I don't like the color green. I'm pretty sure my highlighter is less fluorescent than that. So my mom's actually coming over in about 20 minutes to help me put a wallpaper over that green. Moving on to the left, you'll see my desk. I'm so excited to make videos, film, edit videos for all of you on this desk and decorate it. I actually also made a custom rug over here to go beside my bed. And I also made another custom rug to go here and I'm sure you'll see that really soon. I'll also put like a clothing rack over here and hang my coats so that you know they don't contaminate my clean clothes that would be over here or in my IKEA chest of drawers here. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the bathroom. Okay, so this is the bathroom. Um, it's really small, I like it. It's easy to keep clean and it's an automatic light actually, which is really nice. So I'm probably gonna stick wallpaper over this as well. Hi, because I don't like that green. And um, yeah, there's the sink. And there's a handheld shower, which is so nice. Usually it's a rainfall, but you know, sometimes like it's easier to clean things with a handheld shower. So that was my little tour. I hope you liked that. So now I'm just gonna wait for my mom to come and then we're gonna stick over this thing. I've never really shared too much about my relationship online and you've always respected that. So I just wanna say thank you. 
I have more shoes, but it's still at the other apartment. But oddly enough, because you've given me the space that I need, I finally feel comfortable enough to open up for the first time. Let me know in the comments if it's heartbreak season for you as well. We need to go to office works later to buy boxes for our move later because there's still some things we need to pack but we're at QB and we're gonna eat dinner first. The restaurant opens at 5 so we're gonna go Daiso first. <laughs> I lost my mom. There's an evacuation poster on my door with like all my room details so I'm gonna get this to cover it just so you know you don't stalk me. <laughs> I'm also thinking maybe we can use a mirror instead of the pouch to cover the evacuation sign. I lost my mom. Can't find anything pretty to cover the door so probably gonna go Kmart or BW. So the biggest question that I'm getting asked is how am I feeling, how am I coping? I've always found Kmart stuff to be a little bit nicer than Big W so I have faith that we're gonna find something here. Can I just say, breaking up when you've lived with that person is so much harder. You can't just leave and block him and just move on. You have to think about things like who's getting the kettle, who's taking Richard the rice cooker. <laughs> This is too big, but it's only five dollars. Wow. I really like that. It's like an irregular shape. It's not completely circle, which I really, really like. My mom thinks it's a bit weird though. <laughs> she just doesn't get the vibe. I just, I'm just so used to things being ours, and now I have to think about whether that's his or mine. I know that I'm really lucky because it's my ex's priority to make sure that this whole process is as non-anxiety inducing as possible for me so he just told me to take whatever I need or want I might get this as well just to put my pots and pans on one hand the move is such a nice distraction but it also just reminds you how much of your life is shared with your partner every little thing has a memory attached to it and now I have to learn to just live with it or forget it I'm really, really grateful to have my mom here though because she's just giving me so much strength. Actually, Vesti, I need your advice on this. Like, if you were in a long-term relationship, how did you go to places that you used to go to with your ex? How did you move on after sharing so much of your life with your ex? So we ordered Guo Tiao. And we also ordered squid, but we know spicy flakes because I can't eat spicy. Does anyone else's mom only order hot drinks? Like my mom never orders ice drinks. Girl cannot drink too, too many cold drinks. Very bad for stomach. We gave two years to the relationship. Now the time's gone till we waste that shit. We still need to get the boxes from Big W, but Big W comes at 7. It's currently... Not Big W, it's office work. Office work is for me to eat a bit quick. I don't need that many, I need to find the loose ones. I found a small one. I need um, two large ones, I think. I need to figure out how to carry this and film at the same time. <laughs> it's like that. They said the large boxes are at the other end of the store. Don't have? Yeah, we are completely out of stock. Uh, South Yarra has 75, South Melbourne is 54. Uh, they shot at night, yeah, absolutely. The city office no, no, no. doesn't have any more large packing boxes, so we need to go to the one at South Bank. South Bank. Let's go to that one. You need to be quick though, because it closes at 9. I can't give you 
We're here! I think we found it. I keep losing my mom. Found her! I just showered and now we have to tackle the clothes. After office works, we actually went back to the studio to tape the garbage bags on the carpet so that, you know, the movers won't kind of wreck the carpet tomorrow. Well, my mom mostly did it because I fell asleep on the bed. But now we're actually thinking of asking the movers to move this entire chest of drawers with my clothes inside tomorrow so that like when I unpack, everything's already inside. I've never been in a relationship. Does life change drastically once you're in one? For me, it did. Because in 2020, a few months after we started dating, he gave me a camera. He noticed that I was researching a lot about YouTube, watching YouTube. I just loved YouTube a lot. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. You tell me if it's a good plan. First drawer, undergarments and pajamas. Second drawer is sweaters. Third drawer is jeans and tops. I'm really worried that's not gonna fit. And at that time, we were doing long distance. And so he just told me to go downstairs one day because he sent a package to my house. And in that package was a camera. And he said to me, you know, you've always wanted to start your own YouTube channel and now you can. And that was how Fay Films was born and that's how I met all of you. And so it's funny because four years ago, he helped bring me to you and now you're all helping me navigate this new chapter without him. are gonna arrive anytime now. It's 10.53. I think we packed until about 6. 37 a.m. last night so technically we only slept two hours. I'm just gonna go change and then wait around until they come I guess. The plan is, they're going to take all the furniture and boxes to my studio, then my mom and I are gonna Uber there. That's it. That's the apartment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're done with the bulk of the move. There's still like my makeup back in the apartment, but at least most of it is here. We're gonna ignore this problem first and head to eat lunch. So <laughs> let's do that first. Well, do you regret being in a relationship at a young age? Yes and no. I was actually talking to my mom about this. So the relationship that I was in, I started when I was 18, but I feel that it didn't stunt my growth in a way that a lot of young relationships do. I got really lucky because I was in a really supportive relationship. So he supported me when I wanted to go to Australia, pursue immunology. I mean, he encouraged me to start YouTube. But if I were to be 100% honest, I do feel like I lost myself in this relationship a little bit. I'm back in Kmart Bestie because I need to buy a bookend to hold all my books on the shelf. I'm just so used to having him around. Like, if I didn't want to talk to someone, he'll do it for me. If I felt overwhelmed in a social gathering, he'll be there to pick me up. I never really had to learn to be okay with being alone because he was always there. We might have to go die soon. And so the problem with that is that now, I don't really know how to be alone or find joy in being alone. So definitely one of the hardest parts about this breakup is learning to enjoy being myself again and learning to learn about myself, you know? Okay, Vesti, we're at the final leg. I don't know if you can see, but my mom and I stuck the flower wallpaper on the ugly green bits. <laughs> one panel down, the entire thing to go. I did this part of the bed as well since there was so much extra. We also did the bathroom and it is so easy to install and remove and it just makes things so much cuter. Now this is the current situation that we're dealing with. 
So basically, my mom and I have already shoved things into the drawers in places that we think make sense. Like we've also already pre-organized some of the clothes here, but it's still very messy. So that means the drawers are full already and the cabinets are full already, but we still need to find a home for all these things lying around. Let's start with the clothes. We both saw this coming from a mile away. So this chest of drawers are done. Let's move on to that. I'm thinking that this will be for sweaters that I can't fold and maybe some jackets because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Pajamas, comfy pants and all of them are sweaters. I'm thinking of making this my beauty station. So how's your healing journey so far and what gave you comfort during that time? I went to London. <laughs> I actually spent the entire time catching up with old friends, you have seen it on Instagram. And that trip really healed something in me. I don't know, there's just something about talking to your old childhood friends that just feels so natural and judgment-free. After that trip, I actually met with Saki and Eve and we've agreed to meet every single week for a few hours just to study together, hang out or anything like that. Let's organize the kitchen next. And so hanging out with friends, making plans with them, and just getting out of the house so that you don't think too much, you know, has really helped me. And yeah, it just, you know, talking to them just makes me feel so much better. My friends have really helped me get through this hard time. Of course, my greatest achievement in life. Now we need to house my children. My mom gave me this as a present for coming to Australia to study. This one my friend Eve sold for me. This is from my solo trip to London. This is Cami. My dad bought me this in Dubai. And this duo is from the University of Melbourne's um, gift shop. And I got this when I was looking at penguins in Phillip Island. Now we're going to do all the final touches and you are going to be obsessed. I wish you loved yourself just a little bit more. I wish you saw what I saw, girl. Mr. Koala goes on the back. This is actually Mickey's toy. She slept with it every single night. If you didn't know, Mickey is my childhood dog, and I'll link the shorts that I made about her. But I brought it to Australia, and I'm gonna put her right on the TV so that when I wake up, I see her first. This angel was given to me by Saki. It's from Croatia and it's handmade. And there you have it besties. My room is finally complete. I'm so so happy with this. I was a little bit extra but I think all of you would be too <laughs> if you're moving into your dorm. Let me know which part of my room do you like the most and also comment down below if you're excited to live alone in the future or you're someone that prefers living with others. Moving and filming at the same time was really difficult so be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So here it is, our last bouquet here in this apartment and I'm just so excited to go on this next part of my journey with you guys.